It's such a blessing for us to be together like this. May God bless us. We will sing a song, a song of praise. We will have a prayer for food as well as for this house. Then we will have food, dinner. After that, we will have a building of this statue and the monolith. And everyone will walk to Puyo Church. We will have one more unveiling of stone. Then from there, we will walk to the to our uh, celebration venue. So that's the program, okay? Now... <laughs> We will make it short and sweet. We will sing two verses from one hymn, okay? So we will just sing two verses from 386. Okay, 386, son of my soul. Imang lali we come here. La imang la we zimik na. Na iling so mia ka itang mang damasat mara. So we will sing this song. After which, I will ask, I'll request Ren, Ranjit Rashidang to please pray for this program. Then we will have the cutting of this ribbon, statue unveiling, by the headman of Kumpun, uh, Mike Rakhaiwo. Then we will have the cutting of this ribbon, unveiling of the monolith, by Rand Dr. Eliza Brown. Then he will pray, and we will proceed towards your church. Okay, Imang Lali Hui Kamiya na Imang Lawi Zimik na. Imang Lali Hui Kamiya na Imang Lawi Zimik na. Sassay. <laughs> Atsu Rivra Chimbangina, no Mangali to Mangla Eno, La Sangaye, Mangla in the Chan Hashokaye, Nanang Rungaye, Nulunghi, Lanta, Thought Paid in a Proho, Prono Legacy, a Pomid Rasum Kami, Tangolis, Sambang of the Sak, Thought Thought the Mamlai, the Pai of Malungi Lundre, Rivra, he went at no Takasum Legacy, Tangulon, Tamkirino, Siak Sane, Amen. Imitina, <laughs> <laughs> Arui <laughs> Imohi, Punpun Akasada, Kula, 
Or a hona, who put on Waka Sada, Anna. Hi, me, hi, sa, history, he, Ari Tumna, Sinkum, Shagam, good of Wakak from he, Kamyonan, and Soda, Kao Ina, on Waka Sada in a land miracle. He land convener, she shot Kuno, Kapazan, no, Kuji, Hanukka, Raniki, Miss Ray. H. A. Rahau, 1860 to 1905, the chief of Ukru Hunpun, who was a protector and a friend, a student and a teacher of the missionary, in whose time the vision of H. A. Rishing concerning the coming of the gospel of Christ to the Dankul Naga was fulfilled in 1896, who generously donated this mission compound for the missionary work of the then American Baptist Foreign Mission Society. From generation to generation, the Dankul Baptists remain grateful <coughs> to him. Reverend William Pettigrew, 1869 to 1943, the first Christian missionary sent from the American Baptist Foreign Mission Society, set his foot in the hill country of the Dankul Nagas in 1896 dedicated his whole life to lead the Dankul Nagas to the serving grace of our Lord Jesus. He painstakingly labored to transform them from headhunters to soul winners, who diligently dwelt to usher them into an era of mortality through Western education from generation to generation. The Dankul Baptists remain grateful to him. Praise be to God. Let us pray. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we are grateful to be gathered in this place. In these hills that were formed by you. To stand here in recognition that in the fullness of time, your way will always be known. We thank you for those who came, who traveled great distances, who overcome great hurdles in order to bring your gospel good news. But we thank you even more for the generations after generations after generations of faithful believers in this place who have sought to live their lives for your glory. And we ask, Lord, as we head into this celebration, that this would be a time of renewal and recommissioning. That what you did 125 years ago, you will do again today. That in the fullness of time, you have called us. You have called this association. You have called these church leaders to travel great distances, to overcome great boundaries, in order to share the gospel good news with all of the world. So Lord, we gather together as a whole Baptist family, Baptists in 130 countries and territories, to give you thanks for what you have done, the God of generations, and to say again, we are your people, recommissioned in the fullness of time for your mission. In Jesus' name we pray, dedicating this sacred space for your glory. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Friends will be glad to hear that the government has given permission to remain in the country on condition that our missionary and the price is confined to the Tangkul Hill country. I am leaving today. William Petitcrew, the bomb... <coughs> February 9, 1895. Upon this sacred ground, we engrave our journey of faith, a journey started by his faithful servant, William Petitcrew, in 1896, who, at his own risk, drove the immeasurable miles over the rugged mountain beds to transform the head-hunting Tangul Nagas 
to soul winnings, winning ones with the power of the gospel of Christ. We will begin our program. We'll make it very short. Uh, we will have a prayer by Reverend Rambelungsu, after which Reverend Dr. James E. Brenneman will unveil this monolith. We will see what is written in the monolith. Then Reverend Dr. James will pray for it. Then we will proceed to our celebration venue. So that's going to be the short program. Alas, Reverend Rambelungsu, please pray. Say <laughs> Roy to cock Kazadanali, Kormurum delay. Gala Hikata or Chotti, the Ning Hunger, the name Sotkami at the Nee. Achimang Meningla, Sopra the Kalea taught Totui. No rapping the la, the York Quick White, the Ning Quick White, Ronali and Kalaka, Manga Chain Makija, Kamukan Mangalu. Amen. Hallelujah! 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 It's wonderful to be back with you again uh, after a few years away. And it's my honor to be here to, to honor you and remember the mission of God here in this area. And thanks be to God. I'm reminded before I say a prayer, I'm reminded that on this monument it speaks about God's uh, from generation to generation door to door. And it reminds me of another psalm, Psalm 100, that says, God is faithful. God's love endures forever and extends door to door from generation to generation. Amen. at Meiru on the 29th September 1901. Here stands the Puyo Baptist Church, the first ever American Baptist Mission Church established by Reverend William Pettigrew on the 29th of September 1901 and pastored by him till 1917, succeeded by the first native pastor, M. G. Shimri. This monument stands for posterity to testify the undoubted grace borne by Lord's faithful servant Reverend William Pettigrew and Mrs. Alice Gorham Pettigrew supported by the American Baptist Missionary Unit 
union after a six fearful and prayerful long years of dwelling amongst superstitious headhunters founded the Pugyo Baptist Church, the first and the mother church of Manipur. One generation shall commend your work to another and shall declare your mighty words. Psalms 145 verse 4. This monolith is unveiled by Reverend Dr. James E. Brenneman, President, Berkeley School of Theology of the American Baptist Churches USA. On this day, the 4th of April, in the year of our Lord 2024, in the presence of Reverend Zachary Kabin, Vassar, Pugyo Baptist Church. We're not done yet. In the fullness of time, First fruits at Ukrutio Baptist baptized here on 29 September, blessed time, pray for us. Pray for those who should walk in the newness of life. William Pedigree, the first 12 converts. Hon Lei Rung Tao Ukru, Sang Mayang, Kashung Ukru, Ram Kai Pong, Samrer Ukru, Lei Sisan Saiza Ukru, Maning Lung Kasar Ukru, S. Mangalang Ukru, S. Sakhyang Ukru, S. Sangam Ukru, Kapung Gui Jipang Ukru, M. Haura Humbung, J. Mishokring Humbung, S.K. Siksha Humbung. Thus the long awaited vision of God to Hun Pun Chief, H.A. Rishin, some 20, 200 years ago, came to be fulfilled during the reign of Chief H.A. Raihau. The vision. One morning, as Chief Rishin was sunbathing, he saw a vision of the man with skin fear as the white buffalo, the hair as crazy brownish as a giant red flower, and the eyes blue as a cat. The man said, I came to bring light to you, and after you have received it, leaves will communicate, and you will get it put in your pocket. The vision interpreted us in producing Western education and people moving out from agriculture production as their main source of income was actualized through. Such development and social change came with the Tankus converting to Christianity. Upon this 12th man of faith, the backdrop of Christianity in Manipur was laid. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Hebrew 12, 1. Praise be to God. Let us pray. Almighty God, we stand on holy ground. Not unlike Moses of old, who heard your spirit in the burning bush and was called to lead God's people to freedom. We too now stand on holy ground the burning fire of your spirit that came to this particular place and time 125 years ago and spoke to a young man whose heart burned with the gospel that he wanted to share along with his wife Alice. We thank you for them and for all the generations since who received the Holy Spirit in their own burning bush experiences upon holy ground all over the world and across the street. We thank you for the many people, both here and elsewhere, who have received that calling. And we pray for them and for all future generations, that they may remember this 